Mike from Electric Lawns here again. Project lawn number three. How's it gonna turn out? Stay tuned. You're gonna find out. All right, hold it right there. Don't fast forward through this intro. I know how you guys are. I see the analytics. I got a new thing. I'm thanking new subscribers. If you have a YouTube channel and it's set to public, I get an email that you subscribe to my channel. And I wanna thank those people that are subscribing to my channel. So, watch the flipping intro. Threw you guys for a little bit of a loop with that new intro dealio, thinking new subscribers thingy. It's something I want to do. I actually got the idea from Big Sun's Lawn Care. So shout out to Big Sun's Lawn Care. By the way, Big Sun, I'm waiting to see electric lawns on that whiteboard of yours because I subscribed. So uh, it's a great idea. I saw it. I took it from them. And that's what this is about. This community of YouTube and lawn care and everything. Uh, learning from each other. So I learned from Big Sun's that, hey, I would like to do that. I would like to thank my subscribers because without you guys, I'm just talking to myself. And that's kind of weird. I'll do it. I'll talk to myself. Still kind of weird, but, you know. All right. Now I just talked through the whole pre-job inspection walkthrough. Um, hopefully you guys watched it while I was talking. So I'm going to keep on talking a little bit more. We're going to get going here into some uh, edging, which is not my favorite part, if you guys must know. And for a on-the-fly review of, okay, you guys know I love my Ryobi tools, a review of the Ryobi Edger. Uh, I'm going to be blunt. It sucks. <laughs> now, right there with the the iDeck uh, power rotary scissors. Oh, that's flipping awesome. But the Ryobi hedger sucks. <laughs> I do not like using it at all. That's why you see right here I'm using the iDeck. Uh, I'll use it when it's really overgrown and I can't define the edge and I know the blade's gonna be hitting the concrete quite a bit because then I don't care much about that blade. I do care about those power rotary scissors. I don't want them hitting the concrete that much. They can, I just don't want them hitting that much. So, that was on the fly review. Uh, that edger attachment for the Ryobi trimmer sucks. Don't get it. I think it's a waste of money. I guess if your edge is you know, really good and it's defined every single week, it's okay. We'll go with that part. It's okay. Hope you guys don't mind the voiceover again. Compared to my last project lawns that I did, you guys don't seem to mind because that video is doing very well and continues to trend upward. Uh, it is still getting quite a lot of views keeps going it keeps growing the channel so I thank you for that and hopefully you don't mind hearing me talk about this it gives me an opportunity to really talk a little bit more tell you guys a little bit more about the job or myself or our, my company and allows me to when I'm doing the work I can just focus on doing the work and moving the camera here and there or if I have someone helping me move the camera do that I like doing this better. <laughs> Therefore, it, it doesn't, um, the jobs don't take as long if I could just get to go and I don't have to stop and talk and all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's talk a little bit about this job as we're going along. Okay, this job was for a, uh, a grandmother that I know that wanted to spruce up her lawn and make her lawn a bit more usable and more enjoyable for her grandkids when they come over and you know, are playing. Um, you can see as we'll go through, I think through the pre-job walkthrough, you saw some kids' toys and things like that. But the yard was really, it wasn't, it wasn't fun or enjoyable. I mean, kids will be kids. They're going to have fun 
kind of almost regardless. But if they have a yard that they can you know, roll around in the grass and stuff like that, it gets a more enjoyable. And the lawn was not that at all. So I know this, uh, this woman, um, she needed some help. She wanted to, she didn't know where to start. And that's what I do. I help people out. And I like to you know, show them, okay, do a, do a makeover, but I also show them along the way of how you can take care of your lawn where it's not so time consuming, it's not expensive, and you can still have a nice lawn, enjoyable lawn, a plush, thick, good green. Now this one has a way to go, but I think at the end of everything, the lawn looks better. And I showed her, I applied some products that are over the counter that you can get in a big box store that aren't crazy expensive, that aren't crazy complicated. I showed her, showed her how to use them and where she can go from there so that she can be able to maintain this lawn. Now, as of editing this video, I think I'm probably three, maybe close to four weeks past this. Uh, I've done a couple checks on the lawn. Lawn's looking much better. It's the weeds are just about completely gone. Um, applying some insecticide to get rid of ants and grubs and things like that. Um, showed her how to do that. What she needs to buy. Different that you can go to Ace Hardware, Home Depot, and different places like that, and not have to be confused by all the chemicals and everything. They just make those those, um, those containers that go on the end of your hose, your garden hose, make it so easy. Um, so that's what I'm doing here is, you can see the minivan in the background. I did a shorts uh, of that, a sh a shorts, a YouTube shorts. Uh, minivan lawn care, that's my wife's, <laughs> that's my wife's minivan in the background there. Uh, that's how I got all the equipment here to to do this, to do this job, to do this makeover. But we did the edging, now we're doing the trimming. Um, and I'm going to be coming out of, with a video that is about using your string trimmer. So I've come to realize that that is a part that people struggle with when doing long care and they don't get the the full pop of a good looking lawn because they don't do all the little finer touches of trimming and edging. Watch out! <laughs> Coming right here. Yeah, that was the end of that line right there. That, that, that trimming line. We're doing the blowing, getting rid of all that crap that we just edged and trimmed, get it off there blow it back into the lawn so that when we do mow it, it'll either get you know, ground, ground up, mulched up, or bagged, whatever we're doing for that lawn. Because each lawn's different things, whether you're going to bag it, mulch it, side discharge, different types of things, different stages of the lawn of what product you have applied will call for different things. If you've applied some weed killer, usually your next three to four mows should be either mulched or side discharged. I, I don't like side discharge. I prefer mulch. Mulch it down. But right here, we're blowing off all the debris, getting it away from uh, the house, uh, getting away from the trailer so that when we do come through with the mower, we don't leave all that dead grass on the edges and so that it can sit there and die and kill other grass. You want to get that out. That's that's what that blowing around around those edges there. Uh, blowing around the tree, those trees. I know there's not a lot of grass there anyways, but still, it's the way you do it. You gotta blow those leaves. Those are a bunch of stuck leaves in the ground that I end up blowing, you know, getting them unstuck from there so we can get them sucked up and get them out of there so we can get new growth going new grass growing as you'll see later on in the video with some other things that i do with this not just edging
trimming, blowing, mowing. I do a little bit more than that. Oh, right there is a preview of that, that rock and rocker machine right there. That's a preview of something else I do. My favorite part, the mowing. And man, the more I use this mower, the more I use it, the more I fall in love with it. So if you are even thinking about, hey, should I go electric or or not? Or if I, you know, what brand? I know Toro makes a pretty good electric out there, but I'm in the Ryobi uh, ecosystem for their 18, what, what are they called? 18 plus one and their 40 volt. So I'm, I'm stuck. I'm not stuck with Ryobi. I wouldn't be there if I didn't think it was a good product and it didn't keep performing for me day in and day out. But the more I use this mower, the more I really, really love it. Uh, I use it at, on jobs like this that are overgrown. Well, this one wasn't as overgrown as my last project lawn I did, but it had its moments that were tall. But this mower just continues to perform over and over and over. And I use two six amp hour batteries in it and I rarely have to change one out. You know, you, you got to take the little key and you turn it when one dies. But I rarely have to swap out to another, put another six amp hour battery in there. Um, I have multiples, I can which is not a problem because you have another one on a charger, you take it off, put it on a charger. So never at a point where, oh, I'm out of batteries. It's never the case. So getting the mowing done there in a, a decent pattern. Oh, here we go. Time for the dirty, dusty dethatching. This had a lot, this lawn had a lot of thatch. You can see that. And I'm only gonna go over this lawn one time um, because I was here many, many hours doing this lawn. <laughs> so, and while you see that it's corded, it is electric. It is not cordless. I'll be doing a review on it sometime and why I don't have a real V1, but I flipping hate that cord. I hate that cord. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a cordless one, but that's for another video. Okay. We're gonna do some overseeding here with a sun and shade mix. As you can see, I'm gonna be applying some uh, some weed killer and some 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 weed and feed. Um, I forgot my big spreader at home. I don't recommend doing a job this size, which was about 4,500 square feet. I don't recommend. You can do it, but I don't recommend overseeding with a little handheld spreader. You need to have a walk behind. It was a pain in the butt and got too much seed in some areas and maybe not enough in others, but oh well. The big one's gonna be, I will be returning in the fall and doing a full renovation, overseeding, uh, doing some leveling, doing some more dethatching and helping this lawn out. But you can see already just from the mowing, from the edging, the trimming, the mowing, how much better this lawn looks. Uh, we thinned it out and now we can give it some new growth. We're applying some weed killer, some weed and feed. So we're gonna kill it off some weeds and we're gonna be feeding the new grass, the grass that's there and the grass that we put down. So here's before and afters. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed me talking. I didn't realize I just talked for almost 15 minutes on this video. But if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, tell all your buddies, and come back for the next one. I'm going to continue putting out hopefully good content. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If not, well, go find another channel, I guess. <laughs>